What was your pathway to entering this career field? Yeah, so, so early on, like high school and, and, you know, middle school, I was, you know, I would always just dabble with normal, like, MySpace stuff. The viewers are probably too young for this, but MySpace is like a social media back in the day, and you would be able to customize your profile with simple HTML, CSS, and, you know, that would be a theme of your profile. I would dabble in that, and then around high school, I would, you know, play around a lot with, you know, Android modding or iPhone jailbreaking. And, at the time, it, it just felt like play. It didn't feel like work, and, and I really enjoyed it. That's where my natural curiosity went. Um, once I graduated, I, I wanted to, you know, study computer science, and I couldn't afford it. Uh, it was like three times more expensive, so I just went the normal route and got a job at a warehouse and worked there. As I was there, you know, I, I connected with you know a lot of friends that were kind of similarly minded. Uh, we started, you know, our own kind of small startup. It was mostly marketing, not really software-based. And as I was working there and, and, and kind of making money, my, my natural curiosity would always go back to software. So I, I told myself, you know, I'm just going to do what makes me happy. And I started, you know, teaching myself how to, you know, code, like, truly professionally. I initially tried to go through a, a boot camp, uh, it was a three-month accelerated boot camp. I felt like that wasn't for me. Uh, I completed it, but I felt like I didn't learn how I was supposed to learn. So I kind of spent another eight to ten months learning on my own. Uh, went through a lot of, you know, a uh, lot of stress teaching myself, you know, how to work, how to work, and also study at night. Um, and throughout that process, you know, I realized, you know, it's, it might be hard to even get a job, you know, without a degree. Uh, so I kind of basically had to find someone to give me a chance. Uh, I One thing I did was I got my fundamentals straight. So I learned, you know, the first principles of programming, you know, how, how to learn um, common interview questions, um, stuff like that. And then I just started applying. I applied at over 229 um, companies. One said yes, that first company uh, being Tallwave, they gave me a chance. But to them, they thought I had all this experience, but I didn't. And as I arrived there, I realized I, I was actually, um, humbly speaking, you know, steps ahead of most of the developers there. And I think that was just because of the, the work I put in, you know, at night and weekends that, that kind of got me ahead. And I soon came to realize that, you know, you, there will be a lot of, um, you know, developers that will check out boxes and go through the normal textbook, and there will be those kind of outliers that will actually, you know, have have gone through their own path or, or actually really have a curiosity towards this uh, field, and it will, it will feel like work rather than, it will feel like play rather than work like others uh, might feel. Um, so once I was in there, you know, it was it was much easier. I, initially, I, I had a huge you know imposter syndrome where I felt like I was a fraud. But as I kind of started working there, I realized that you know I was in the right place. And once I got in, it was much easier to get other jobs. I had you know recruiters reach out to me and just you know consistently have work, even you know uh, freelance work. So I'm always busy and I'm building all the time and. I'm having fun, and at this point, it doesn't feel like work. It, it just feels like play. But I do have moments where, you know, I bang my head on the keyboard still. But that's part of the process. And once I solve that problem or deliver that that, that shipping build, you know, it's, it's very fulfilling.